with today bringing us a new single from Ed Sheeran as well as a new album from Ryan Adams, our ears are sure to be very happy for a long time. But here are some sounds that can make them even happier. If you like pop punk, We The Kings are definitely a group to watch. Although it's been a year since their latest release, The Story of Tonight, the band is keeping their fans a top priority while they climb to the top of the music scene. We The Kings not only announced that they had a new music video for their single Sad Song on the way, but that they're also taking their 10th anniversary tour to Toronto later this month, where they'll play their self-titled album in its full. It makes you wonder what it was all for. Scott Hellman's newest release is sure to make your heart flutter. The Toronto-based musician recently debuted 21 Days. The acoustic pop mix draws from all of the negativity in the world, showing that in times of hate, love outweighs all. With Hellman's newest album on the horizon, you might want to stick around. Not only is he going far, but there is a good chance that he is going to change the face of the music industry. Won't cry over you if you're not my type. To top it all off, Crystalline is a band that is rapidly taking over the indie music scene. Despite the departure of their bassist last year, the group created a poppy, upbeat, but serious EP featuring songs about anxiety and relationships. Playing several shows in the Toronto and Niagara region to keep busy between releases, the group recently announced that they will be playing an acoustic set at the Mod Club. If you haven't heard of them yet, just you wait. I'm so excited to be attending both Crystalline and We The Kings. Thanks mom, I really owe you and I swear I will pay you back this time.